2023 holds some interesting titles, but particularly today, I want to share five games that share resemblance with the 90s Doom light games in art style. So if you're looking for something of that style, more retro, stick around until the end and I'll share a bonus that, that, that you, you don't want to miss. Hi and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome! My name is Vasharal and this is Tailplay, a channel dedicated towards gaming of all kinds. Here we share listings of games, news, reviews and so much more gaming related. So if you're new here and you want more content like this, why not subscribe to the channel and like the video so that the algorithm pushes to other people that might be interested. Anyway, let's not extend the intro and get into the video. First one on our list is called Dread Templar. Dread Templar is a high octone, hardcore, old school first person shooter that seamlessly fuses the 90s shooter traditions with the contemporary FPS elements. In the game, you'll have the opportunity to unlock and synergize numerous weapons enhancements and skills, harness the formidable powers of the Dread Force, and annihilate legions of malevolent adversaries. What makes this game similar to Doom is the fact that you become strong stronger and an unstoppable killing machine that nobody in hell is going to stand in your way. The game looks fun, explosive and packs a lot of punch in comparison with other games on this list, but also doesn't necessarily resemble the 2.5D look other games on this list will. So let's talk about the next one, which is Hyperviolent. Hyperviolent plunges players into a merciless retro style first person shooter that pays homage to classic 3D games from the 90s, characterized by their sprite-based graphics. As you respond to a distress signal emanating from the remote mining colony of Commandos Asteroid 27C, you are trusted into the heart of a violent uprising among the colony residents. Your mission is to untangle the enigmatic riddles shrouding the asteroid and the malevolent forces concealed in this subterranean mines, all while striving to decipher the sources of madness that has consumed its intricate passageways. It sounds like an interesting game that I'd like to explore and the art style resembles a lot the 2.5D Doom and Wolfenstein games back in the 90s. So if you're into that, you might want to check out this game. This game has been developed by Terminist Arcade and published by Fulcrum Publishing. And later in this list, I'll share another game published by the same publisher that you don't want to miss. But for now, let's talk about the third game on our list, which is H-R-O-T or HROT, I think. Please correct me in the comments. I'm not sure exactly how I can spell this one. But HROT is a single player first person shooter that transports you to a compact socialist nation situated alongside the Soviet Union, specifically Czechoslovakia, in the wake of the unspecified cataclysm in 1986. The era it echoes is one marked by shadows and ominous events and the game itself mirrors this unsettling atmosphere. Your journey starts within a civil defense shelter nested deep beneath Prague metro station. Being the esteemed bearer of the military readiness badge, your sense of duty is crystal clear. Players seem to love this game as it's overwhelmingly positive on Steam, so if I was you, I'd keep this game on my radar. Next one though transports us in a distant place 40,000 years in the future. Yep, you guessed it. It's another Warhammer 40,000 game. This one is called Bolt Gun. And to be fair, it's probably one of the best Warhammer 40k games you can get your hands on. Arm yourself with formidable Bolt Gun and dive headlong into battle. Immerse yourself in flawless fusion of Warhammer 40k, iconic universe and high energy mayhem in classic FPS gameplay and the visual captivating aesthetics reminiscent of beloved 90s retro shooters. Take on 
on the route of a battle-handed space marine embarking on a perilous intergalactic adventure locked in combat against the sinister forces of chaos space marines and the vile demonic chaos itself. In true boomer shooter fashion, unleash the full might of your space marine arsenal as you tear through a relentless storm of sprites, pixels and crimson carnage. Traverse expansive levels with the agility to run, leap and charge as you eviscerate, pulverize and carve through the most nefarious heretics scattered across the galaxy. The game looks fun and it has been well received by many players on Steam. So if you don't intend to play it now, how about you wishlist this bad boy and try it out later. Anyway, that leaves us with one last game, right? So on number one, by release date, we've got Forgive Me Father 2, the sequel of the same title that came out in 2022, Forgive Me Father, developed by Byte Barrel and published by Fulcrum Publishing. This time around, you have to embark on another adventure into a sinister realm deeply infused by the disturbing tales of H.P. Lovecraft, where lunacy learns around every twist and turn. As you follow the narrative of the priest, a character familiar from the previous installment, you set forth on a quest for redemption. Like the previous game, this looks stylistically beautiful and I'm interested in trying this game out and sharing my thoughts about it. I've yet to play the original title, it's not a long game, but I'm not sure how long the sequel is, so if you'll bear with me, I'll share my review for both the games in the coming weeks, as it has been a while since I've played this kind of games, but I've always wanted to re-explore the old school retro types of games that you and I care about, as they hold a lot of lore and history behind them. So now we're left with the bonus, but this time around I'm going to be a little bit cheeky and cheat a bit, because I couldn't find a worthy title for 2023 that could make it to this list. So I'll share one that came out in October last year that you might want to check out. I'm talking about Cultic. Prepare for intense battle against the sinister cult whose twisted minds are enthralled to a, an enigmatic force in the classic inspired shooter. You'll be engaged in a relentless exchange of gunfire where the lead flies both ways. To survive, you must employ nimble tactics like running, sliding, dodging, and leveraging your surroundings. Cultic Chapter 1 compromises 10 meticulous crafting maps teeming with gore, grime, and of course fanatical cultists. Upon completing the storyline, put your skills to the test in the wave-based survival mode also included within the chapter 1. For a sneak peek into chapter 2, a new interlude story map has been introduced. So chapter 2 continues the saga of the cultic and it will be available as a separate paid DLC later in the day. Probably we're gonna see this in 2024 but we don't know for sure so don't take our words for granted it could come out anytime as we don't have any kinds of detail so yeah let me know in the comments which of the game have interest you if we missed any of the games that you liked in 2023 drop them in the comments it would help us to find new titles as well to share it with others who are interested in this kind of genre it would mean a lot to us i want to apologize for the background noise my bird zira is making a lot of noise and it has been disturbing throughout the video but i wanted to carry on and share my thoughts about these games. I also want to say that I feel like my voice was a little bit kind of dry today for some reason. I ate something hot and I burned the back of my throat so I don't know it felt a little bit difficult to talk throughout the video so I apologize if it sounds strange. I drank some water and now it's fine but I don't want to take another take just because I may have plans to work on her new video and I don't want to take more of her time. So yeah let me know in the comments I would really appreciate it. Also, I like to feature one of the comments at the end of the video and give a shout out. So from my recent videos, I want to shout out Nomad XXXX and he said the following. The combat system looks really good, but I do wonder about the quality of the story and whether the different choices we can make will justify multiple playthroughs. Perhaps the different classes will warrant a playthrough more than the story. I'll keep an eye on the game. 
game. Of course, this is talking about Dark Envoy, where I made a preview of the game and I talked about this one. And what was really interesting was the fact that the developers actually responded to this one. So if you want to check that one out, feel free to do so. It's going to be at the end of this video. So feel free to check that one out and let me know what you think. Anyway, that's all from me. Thank you for watching. And as always, stay safe, take care and happy gaming.